Hello Geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the mobile application development with Flutter video series and the topic of this video is creating tab bars. So let's start. So uh, I will highly recommend going through my earlier video series where we have created a to-do application using Flutter. Uh, this is just to make sure that whatever code we write over here will make some sense. So as you can recall from my earlier statement that everything is a widget in Flutter. So let me just create a basic widget with a basic skeleton with a app bar and a body. So let me create a widget called my app because this is my main widget which extends let's say stateless widget and I'll override the build function which returns a widget. So this will return a material app. Material app is having something called home which will create a scaffold. In scaffold we will have an app bar which creates a new app bar and I give the title to app bar which will be displayed on my header. New app, uh, let's say new text, uh, let's say flutter tab application. And I will also have a body in here where I will just display some text widget, let's say something a b c d e f g for example okay so this is my basic skeleton let me go ahead and run this so as you can see we have a header with flutter tab application and this text is displayed in the body what we want to do is that we want to create some tabs over here so that can be done in the app bar in the bottom part of the app bar because this is the top part of the app bar and this is the bottom part of the app bar so to add a tab, we'll use the bottom and we'll say new tab bar and inside this it will take tabs which returns a widget, list of widget and each list can, can contain new tabs. So I said new tab and I'll say text is uh, let's say first, first tab and next uh, tab will be second second tab so basically what this should do this should display a tab over here but we cannot do it because for displaying tab bus we need a tab controller but since tab display of tab handles display in the body we need to have this tab controller um, outside the scaffold so we'll just copy this as it is in the home we'll say new default tab controller Length determine number of tabs. So as of now I can put statically put two and child is where everything scaffold will be. So this is my scaffold. I need to reload the widget because uh, we have changed the structure and you know we have to we cannot do a hot reload most of the time. And you can see that now I have two tabs first tab and second tab. So this is the bottom of the header and I have added two tabs. but nothing is happening as yet over here because I mean we wanted something else to be displayed over here when the first tab is clicked and something else to be displayed when the second tab is clicked. This can be done by creating tab bar view in the body. So let me create tab bar view. Okay, this children again it will take a list of widgets. I say widget and list of widget and let me display just new text only. Text as a first widget and next is second widget. Now the tab default tab controller automatically assigns zero tab with zero children and first tab with the first children. So whenever I press first tab this, this widget will be called whenever I press second tab this widget will be called. So let me just save it and see. You can see that when I press first widget, this gets uh, displayed. When I press second widget, this gets displayed. So that's the way we can display uh, widgets in the tab bar and we can create multiple tab bars. As, as of now, we have kept the length as two. But in this, we don't need to use built-in widget. We can use our own widgets. So let me create a stateless widget called second widget. Stateless widget. And I'll just over, overwrite the return.
and here I am just returning the text. Uh, display from widget. Okay. Now instead of using the built-in widget, I can actually say new second widget. Let me go ahead and save. I have said it is hot reloaded and if now I press second tab, it says display from widget. First tab, first widget, dis second tab, display from widget. Now when you are programming for uh, type bars, you need to be assured of one thing that every time you click on a tab, a new instance of widget is created. It is not taking care of existing instance, if any, whether it is a stateful uh, widget or stateless widget. So let me just show one example with a stateful widget by converting this second widget to a stateful widget. So uh, let me create a second widget as a stateful, stateful widget. You know, we can create a second widget tab. I need to actually override it. I say new second widget. Uh, I say tab. The name has to be different. And here I'll say second widget tab extends state generics which takes second widget. Okay. Now let me have two things over here. I want to have a counter called in counter initialize to zero and I want to have a checkbox. So let's say check value is equal to false. So now I want to return a widget which can dis not only displays the counter in a text widget but also displays a checkbox. So I need to create return a widget which take multiple widgets. So let me return a row or let's say column. In the column I will have children as list of widget. I say let's say new text. I say counter value is equal to dollar counter so that it displays the counter. And uh, what I will do, I will create a checkbox. So I will say new checkbox. The initial value will be check value which will be false. And on change method, let me uh, get pool new value. And inside this, I'll set the state over here like that. In the set state, what I will do is that I'll increment counter as counter plus plus and uh, I change the checkbox value so that it is visible on the screen. So let's say new value. Okay, so let me uh, return the column and let me go ahead, save and run it. So this is my first tab, this is my second tab. As soon as I press it, you know, this counter value increments. After that, I go back to first tab. When I come back to second tab, again, it becomes zero because it is reinitialized again. You can see that it is gone and now it's reinitialized. So no matter whether you have a stateful widget or a stateless widget, it will be creating new instance of the widget every time you click the tab. Now, something more about tab. Uh, we don't need to have only text. We can have an icon also. In the icon, we can say, new icon icon start for example add comment just for example and if i save it uh, it should be icon when i save it you can see this is the widget instead of text i can display icon so here also the same thing so that's all about how you can create uh, type bars in flutter that's all for this particular video thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe thank you